You wouldn't think it, looking at my cat Leah Sternwell now, that I meant well when I took her off a mount and potted her up. The thing is that she was growing really well on the mount. I was extremely concerned that I could not keep up with her care based on my dry climate. So I figured to give her the optimal opportunity to grow really well with plenty of water during the warmer months of the year, when she's in active growth, I would pot her up. And it worked kind of like for several seasons. However, I can see the continuous decline instead of a betterment of the orchid. You can clearly see how many pseudobulbs are shriveled. That is not normal this time of year. And in the last months, I have lost the back leaves one after the other. All this in the back here looks to be really struggling. I doubt that it's lost, but it is not the result I was hoping for. I don't think I have a single viable root in this pot, which is a mix of Ceramis, Lava Rock and Akadama, hoping that the layman would get accustomed to the wetter environment and really take off. I doubt it very much. So what we're going to do today is go back to where she was doing really, really well, and we are going to mount her. Her previous mount was an inorganic mount. Well, I have a piece of cork bark here, so I'm going to switch her onto this mount. It really shouldn't be that big a deal. Famous last words as they say, welcome to the patio. Thank you for clicking on this video. While I get resituated, would you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. The additional support is so, so appreciated. Let's see what we're up against. She feels rooted in. Oh boy. <laughs> anyway, deep breath, we're gonna do this. I'm not happy with what she looks like now. Ah, she was only rooted in so much that she wasn't gonna fall out of the pot. But it tis true, tis true. While we have some viable roots, this is not what my Cernua was doing many years ago when she was mounted. So I am going to try, oh my goodness. You see the lava rock here? Ah, but this root is shot. It's only a little bit viable. Nope, it's squishy at the end as well. I don't want to get rid of all the roots because they're going to be a nice little humidity buffer as well. I'm not putting any sphagnum moss or anything around the roots for the time being. I want to be able to see how well can I provide for this orchid water-wise. And then I can always add to, let's say with some hop filter material for added humidity. But being the fact that she is going to be mounted now, I do need to get the lava rock off. The weight of the lava rock can also cause more cracks. I don't want that. None of these roots are viable, and they should be, but the reason I'm going in now is because I've been watching her for active root growth. And that is the only reason I'm going in now. I've waited so long to do this. I'm happy that the day has come, and I hope to be able to report back that everything is going tickety-boo for her from here on in. So I've already prepared my mount, and I'll take you to that location. I have punched two holes in already, assuming what I was looking at with the orchid in the pot, how I want to position her onto the mount. So I have one hole right here, and the other one is a bit more diagonal up here. Also got my wire prepped. Now let's see if the practical execution of what I saw in my mind does in fact work. Some roots are probably going to be cracked just by me doing this. Yeah, I'm gonna need some hop filter material for down here. We'll sort that out once I get her secured. So because I have a knack for putting orchids way too high on the mount, I'm really trying to focus to keep her as low as possible, plus a little bit centered as well. Thank you. 
Okay. Now she looks a little bit loose on here, but I'm hoping that these pseudobulbs are going to plump up again and then I don't want the wire to garrote her. She's not going anywhere. She's pretty much secure. I'm going to get myself some hob filter material. This is my substitute for sphagnum moss. It is inorganic and it can stay on this mount for years. Okay, so now I hope she's going to be much happier because she's back in the same original location where she lived from day one when she arrived on the patio. After I hung her up and let the glue dry a little bit, I noticed that roots on the left side were still viable. They are not covered with extra material. So I've tucked them into a little bit of a crevice in there and I will be focusing on keeping those well hydrated and hopefully I can pull them through. If not, the new roots are going to have to do the job. What to expect from here on in? Probably a lot more shriveling, a little bit more concern and anxiety kicking in before she bounces back, recovers, and then can bloom again the way she used to for us. This is also her permanent location, no matter the time of year. She lives outside on the patio, no matter if I had her potted up or previously mounted. So fingers crossed that this will do the job and that I will be able to report back to you throughout the season how she is progressing. I just don't want to lose any more leaves, otherwise she's going to look a little bit naked and I don't really like that. <laughs> be great to get some new growths growing down at the bottom. I want to say thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate your time, your support. Thank you for watching to the end. It gives me the opportunity to wish you a fabulous day. On the condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.